on that little TCL logo that you see on your smart TVs or really just your TVs in general, well, you're gonna start seeing that more often. And this is the reason why. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Take a look at TCL's brand new smartphone brand. This is the TCL Plex. As far as the main specs are concerned, you get the Snapdragon 675 on here, which may not be the 855 or anything like that, but in our short time with the phone, I actually felt like it was pretty speedy already. You get 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of onboard storage that is expandable with the micro SD card slot. Uh, from there, you get the TCL UI on here, which TCL tells us is not really about reinventing the wheel as far as Android is concerned. During our briefing, one of the people there was actually saying that Google are the masters of their user interfaces, so there's no reason for them to try and add so much on top of that with a really heavy TCL skin. It's inside those settings pages that you might find some extra features like the smart key, which is a little bit like the convenience key that you've seen on TCL's other brands like Alcatel and Blackberry. This particular key can be used for presses, double presses and holds for things like Google Assistant or anything that you want to program those presses for. The battery is just shy of 4,000 milliamp hours, but it can support quick charge 3.0 if you need to top that up in no time. There is a headphone jack on here, which is pretty nice to see, but if you are going to use the Bluetooth connectivity on here, they have an enhancement called Super Bluetooth. Now, that might sound a little bit silly, but uh, in certain phones, you are able to get two devices connected to the smartphone. That way you can listen to audio or watch movies or watch YouTube or watch anything with a partner. But on this phone, you can get up to four whole devices connected to the same smartphone for audio playback. And then we can get around the device itself. The screen is at 6.53 inches uh, and it's a pretty good looking screen, but there's a lot more going on underneath that surface that you will be very interested about. After all, TCL is really well known for their great uh, display technology and they're bringing that pedigree to smartphones. There is a dedicated display processor on the TCL Plex, which gives it the ability to change up the colors and the contrast and just in general, the quality of the display experience. One of those ways that users will see that difference will be through SDR to HDR conversion. Any content, even if it is a standard resolution, will get the HDR treatment, meaning that you're going to get punchier colors, you're gonna get better contrast, and it's going to be able to do so in real time. And even from just a little bit of time that I was using the TCL Plex, I really did feel like the display experience is going to be its main highlight. Uh, I was watching a few YouTube videos and a few other pieces of content, even just scrolling through elements on the full HD Plus display, I was already having a a good time and I think that TCL's prowess when it comes to TVs is definitely going to convert over pretty well to the smartphones. But TCL is not stopping there, they actually want to really put their best foot forward on differentiating their camera package as well. You can already see on the back there are three cameras there. Uh, we'll get to those lenses in a little bit but let's just take a look at the design of these cameras. There's this little stripe at the top that actually makes it look pretty awesome and over on the sides there are two flashes. So there's this dual flash going on and when those two lights go off it actually looks pretty dope. The main sensor is the Sony 48 megapixel IMX586 sensor, which is one that we've seen in a lot of phones uh, and it's been doing a great job of providing some great image quality. Uh, so that sensor we're pretty sure is going to provide some good results, uh, not only in photo but also in video. However, there is another lens which is an ultra wide camera at 16 megapixels. It's pretty easy to access that ultra wide camera by hitting just that little button there where it says 1x and then it becomes a wide angle both in photo and video. So it's pretty good that you can use a wide angle for many applications. But then that third lens, which you might assume is going to be like a zoom lens is actually something completely different. It is a high speed and low light camera. That's right, this particular lens is dedicated to those functions. And while we didn't do any uh, fast frame rate or high, uh, high speed recording, what we did do is try and test out the low light capabilities. This low light camera is not only good for uh, photos, it's also good for video capture in low light, which is something we don't see a whole lot in any phone. One small downside that you might perceive about that third lens is that it's only a two megapixel camera, but those two megapixels are 2.9 microns in size. Uh, that should be able to let in a lot of light, uh, not only for photos, but also for video, like we said. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, it's gonna be one of those cameras that you're going to use in those extreme situations. And we're gonna obviously test that out when we are uh, using this phone on the daily for a review. Is TCL trying to be the absolute best or be the first when it comes to certain trends in the smartphone market? Absolutely not. We were told many times during our briefing with TCL that this is more about the launch of a new brand rather than the launch of an exciting, maybe top of the line smartphone. But they're doing a lot of things right with this phone. And one of those happens to be the display and the other one might actually be the camera. 
But with all of that in mind, the TCL Plex is not going to be available globally, not fully at least at this moment. Uh, it is going to be available in a number of countries here in Europe, but also out in Asia, uh, just a few places there. So the global launch might be impending, but it's not going to happen for a little bit. What does have us excited is that if it does have a global launch, uh, right now the price is under 350 euros, which is an incredible price for a good display and a Sony 48 megapixel sensor. It's really awesome that TCL is able to still bring that are low cost, very affordable tech to the masses. And now it's in a smartphone. Of course, the TCL Plex is one of many devices that we've seen here at EFA. So make sure you get into the comment sections down below. Let me know what you think about this particular device and then head over to my other content here at JV by subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Drop some likes on my videos. Again, get into that discussion in the comment sections. Let me know what you think of TCL's brand new smartphone line. And then uh, we will see you in more content here at EFA in Berlin. Until my next video, I'm just gonna call it on this one and I'll just remind you to enjoy your tea, everybody.